What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Habitual Line Crosser video. Now this one, I'm actually pretty sure I know, uh, kind of what this one's about. This is, team is spelled with five eyes. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure this is about five eyes, which is a, uh, basically an espionage, military secret type sharing agreement. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, uh, an intelligence alliance, I guess you could say between the, you know, the, the motherland and the Anglo settler colonies, uh, except South Africa for obvious reasons. Um, so basically it's, you know, Canada, Australia, the U S New Zealand and the UK, and they share intelligence. Um, now the kind of sketchy thing about that is because a lot of these countries have laws that they're not allowed to spy on their own citizens. They, part of the intelligence they share to circumvent that is they, just happen to look the other way and s while the other countries spy on their citizens and then just happen to share that information, right? So if you're an American, then, well, I mean, you can't be spied on by the Americans because technically that's illegal. But if, you know, the Australians or the Canadians or the British do it and we just, you know, don't notice and then we happen to ask for that information through Five Eyes then we never spied on you, right? That's basically, it, it, that's the kind of sketchy part about it. Uh, but anyway, I'm guessing that's what this is about. It's about five eyes. So link to the original video down below and let's jump into it. Hey Rusky, how's that three day operation going for you? How was the global war on terror? When this whole thing is over and done with, I'm changing the name of Moscow to New Florida. <laughs> I lost twice as many troops in one offensive as I lost in 20 years of fighting. You said I, like the rest of us aren't here to help. I suppose you're right. If it weren't for my allies, I would have nowhere to store all the defense contractor shit I've been hoarding for the last 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Britain had a more powerful military than them basically up until World War II. Deb de well, debatably, I, I guess I should say. Between, you know, prior to World War One, 100%, between World War One and Two, debatably. So it's really only the last 70 years. Uh, are we going to see New Zealand in this one for the first one then? Because I don't think we've seen New Zealand in a video yet. We've seen Australia. We've seen Canada a couple times. This might be the first time we see New Zealand if they show up. But we're all part of this thing called NATO. There's no I in team. Yeah, unfortunately, historically speaking, every time I trusted my team to take care of me and I wanted to stay out of the fight, it didn't really go well for me. So I now spell team with five I's in the Apache word for self-reliance. Narciss- Okay, so, so it's not even- Man, I thought this was going to be about five I's, but it's, it's not about five I's. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, that's not what I was expecting at all. I, okay, let's, let's. Narcissistic and illiterate. <laughs> yeah, uh, to, to be fair to the Americans, though, that's 100% right. Like, uh, I think somebody corrected me on one of the other videos when I said that uh, no other countries meet their uh, military spending. Apparently, there's, uh, Poland does, and I think the Baltic states do, like Lithuania and Estonia and Latvia, um... But I think uh, th there was, a, I think, a handful of other ones that um, meet the requirements. But there wasn't many, right? I know Canada doesn't. I think the la last time I checked, I think we were somewhere around, like, 1.4%. And it's supposed to be, I think, a minimum of two recommended of four or something like that. I can't remember the exact numbers. But, uh, yeah, honestly, a lot of the other countries need to start pulling their weight, especially Europe, like. Bro, you're the one. You you guys are the ones always getting into fucking conflicts. Well, usually with each other, and I guess you know now that you're all in the same alliance, you can't. Although Russia, you know, there's always Russia. But yeah, I thought this was gonna be about like five eyes, like the the military intelligence uh, agreement between the the five Anglo nations. But apparently not. So the whole spiel at the start was kind of for nothing. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.